Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley and my guest today is Scott Keller. Scott, thank you so much for joining us. Dana, thank you for asking me. Scott is the Executive Director of the Port of Benton and today we're going to discuss Crow Butte and that's just a beautiful island not too far from here, set 275 acres where you can boat, camp, all kinds of wonderful things. It is a beautiful island and we, we acquired it about six years ago and uh, a little bit of the history behind, behind it is that the Corps had to build it uh, as a mitigation project for the McNary Dam. And they had it for a while, the state had it for a while, they ran out of budget money. Um, s several farmers down there wanted to keep it open, so they took it over. And it, it kind of it started costing them a little more money than they thought. And they actually went to Benton County uh -huh. to try to see if that they would acquire it. Um, we had absolutely no presence down in that part of the county as our port district. And so we went down to take a look at it and it was just a diamond in the rough and we took it over about six years ago. And so if someone wants to get there to Boater Camp, it's down on Highway 14 by Patterson? Correct, it's about 12 miles west of Patterson. And you've got to take a causeway, you've got, you, very, you've got to watch for the signage because you will go right past it. There's a causeway that goes over into kind of an island area is where the actual campground is. So when, when you saw this and saw the diamond in the rough, what made you decide to take the risk financially to tackle something that so many other groups had walked away from? Because I felt it was a big waste of taxpayers' money and, and that someone could really rejuvenate it and make, make a beautiful place out of it. And we've done that. So now you've put about a million dollars into it. So we've far. put about a million dollars into it about the last six years. We've mm -hmm. uh, basically upgraded all the electrical. There was the larger motorhomes need a larger amperage to be able to handle all the air conditioning and stuff that they have. Mm -hmm. There's 50 campsites for motorhomes. Um, there's a couple of boat ramps down there. Mm -hmm. We actually have improved those. We are getting a grant this year for $700,000 to put in 12 more slips down there. So, Excellent. and we just, we did a lot of uh, upgrading the uh, restroom facilities, the shower facilities. We put new roofs on the buildings, painted, put it all for so as that it's uh, ADA compatibility for disabled people. So it's it's just a, a really nice park. Yeah, it really is. And you go out and camp there personally. I do, I do. I've, I've, I, sent, I spent at least a weekend and if not two down there. Um, during the summer and early fall months. I've gone out there myself and one of the things I appreciated is if you are out there very early in the morning or late at night, the skies there are spectacular. It's you know, you're away from quite a bit of light pollution, the stars, the sunrise, and the colors in the skies. It's, it's absolutely uh, nothing quite like it. Beautiful, it's beautiful, and the fishing is really good down there uh, uh -huh. out in the main canal or out in the Columbia. What, what do people primarily fish for there? A lot of walleye, there's some bass, there is some salmon, but I think the main the main uh, catch down there is a walleye. Everybody mm. likes to catch a walleye. Very good. Hey, Scott, thank you so much. We really Dana. appreciate you joining us. And thank thanks you. for being our guest. And good luck with your improvements. Thank on you that very as much. It continues. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I'm Dana Cowley, and this is Charter Local Edition Northwest.